when it flies, flies, fly, all right, die, die, die. Wingy, what, huh? Then what are you going to do, hop over these walls, Jackie? Why not, Joe? You fly over them, all right, when you die. Oh, I don't know. It ain't too tough to break out of a place. I've been steadying up on it. Let me fly, fly, fly. Uh, so go fly, but stop that singing. Being in jail is tough enough without having to listen to that. You won't have to listen to it too long. I'm getting out of here. Me and my pals, Jockey, Danny, and Bolo. Oh, you all got together and talked it over, huh? No, we ain't talked it over. We ain't talked to each other since we're here. Something we decided on before. Oh, you decided on it. Yeah, we did. You guys are in here for good, and the warden's seeing to it. That's why he's kept the four of you apart. Won't let you talk to each other, eat together, work together, nothing. I know, I know, but still we're busting out together. How? If you ain't talk to each other, how'll you get together? We'll all get the signal, and nobody will know where we're getting it. It'll tell us where the break is and how and when. It'll come from the outside. Fat chance. You got to get together and make plans before you make a break. Uh, no, we don't. We'll get the signal without talking to each other or even seeing each other. I'll send you a postcard from the outside, Joe. Let me fly, fly, fly. All right, die, die, uh, die Right die, now, I wouldn't die, mind letting you. Not one bit. And now, on to Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy. Friend to those who have no friend. Hey, you uh, guys wanted to live just inside the city limits, huh? Well, we uh, just this minute crossed the city line. You're going to let us out at the corner, Mac. Okay. Say, uh, you fellas heard about that uh, prison break, didn't you? Who hasn't heard about it? Four members of the Bolo gang broke out all at once, I hear. Yep, that's right. Nobody knows how they got out together, either. Yeah, I've got to read up on it sometime. I hear it was tricky. Yeah, it sure was. Well, here's the corner. Are you sure you don't want me to take you guys all the way into town? No, thanks, Mac. Uh, thanks for the lift, though. Oh, glad to oblige. Jackie, wait a minute, huh? I got an idea. An idea? Yeah, and this guy's got something we can use. <laughs> hey, Polo, what you slug him for? For this truck. Come on, help me pull him out and dump him in the road. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, up there, boy. Get him out. All right. What? Get a little beef behind him, will you? Push him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just leave him. Yeah. And now what, Polo? Now we not only got past the cops at the city limits, but we got a truck to take us straight to the other guys. Yeah, and when we get to them, what else? We get to work. What else? We're on the lookout for the Polo gang down here in the city, Warden Mills. Oh, good, good. Haven't heard a thing about them yet. Well, if you don't nab them soon, you know what'll happen here, don't you, Inspector Faraday? Yep. They need getaway money and they'll kill for it. I know. I'm expecting that any moment. Right. If you only knew how they got out, how they worked together on the break, and who helped them. And maybe well, I could... I wish I could tell you that, Inspector. We certainly don't know. We kept them apart. Yeah. We know they didn't see each other, signal each other, talk to each other, or get their plans by mail. Yeah, but they must have gotten together to arrange the time of the break. No, no, they couldn't. Guarantee that. Not one word or sign or message got to those four men while they were in prison. Not one word. Well, I still don't see how they... Come in. Hello, Faraday. Oh, no, not you, Blackie. How'd you get into my office? How'd the Bolo gang break out of jail? Hello, Warden Mills. Oh, Boston Blackie. Hello. Faraday, take a tip from Warden Mills and be glad to see me. I'll never be glad to see you, as long as you can see back. You'd rather I had a lily on my chest instead of an idea in my head? Oh, no. Faraday, I want in on this case. I have a personal interest in it. Mm. You can deposit that interest someplace else. Can I bank on that? Oh, Blackie, no. <laughs> you sent one of the men in the Bolo gang to prison, didn't you? Yes, Jackie Mayer. And I don't want him running around loose because I might end up in a tight spot. Yes, I can see that. I think if I can grab Jackie, I can grab a whole lot of them. Oh, you think so, do you? Yes, I know. Well, I don't think they're going to work together. No? They worked together on the prison break, didn't they? Well, not exactly, Blackie. They broke out together, but we don't know how they got together to set the time and place. We kept them apart from prison. Didn't let them communicate in any way. Then how did they set the time and place for the break? Oh, we don't know. All we know is they'll need money to stay out of jail. And we expect them to try for it at any time. Somebody hid guns for him in a refuse truck so they could hold up the guards. But how did the gang know when and where the truck would be? Yes, I know it sounds fantastic, Blackie, but it really has us baffled. They communicated with each other without a word or sign, huh? That's right. 
Well, all I can, I can say is that that is a signal achievement. Hey, Jackie, don't you know any other song? I'm going to study up on one sometime, Pete. Hey, Polo. Yeah? How you doing with that safe? I'd do a lot better if you'd cut the singing. You guys keeping an eye out for the watchman? Yeah, sure, but I can look and sing, too. It's good for the nerves. I read up on nerves once when we was in prison. Shut up and let Polo work. Okay, okay. Polo's finished working. The safe's unlocked. Yeah, I got to read up on how to open safes. Must be fun. Quiet! Okay. Up in the safe, Polo. Let's get going so we can meet the other guys. I'll get nervous out there in the car. Yeah, sure. There we are. Hey, there's not much in it. Well, let's take what there is and get out of here before Jackie goes into another chorus. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You carry it. Give me double, 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 all I know. Shut double, up, Jackie. Double. What's the matter, Pete? These are all new words. I'm going to read up on writing words. Uh, I must be quiet. Huh? Somebody's coming. Uh, it's a night watchman. You and your singing, Jackie. Duck back, he's coming this way. He's blocking the way out. Yeah, I know. Uh, there are ways of getting out of jams like this. I've got to study up on it sometime. I know a way out of this, and it doesn't take any studying. Just a good right hand punch. No, 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 Bolo. Let me have him. Hey, yeah, my God. No. Fit, I got him. All right, let's get out to the car. Come on. Right. Quick, get in the car. Get in, I'm already in. Yeah, we're rolling. Okay, Bolo, let's move. Okay. You know what, we're fast. We've got to kill a guy. Okay, Bolo. Yeah, and what for, Polo? We didn't get enough dough to get out of town. We'll have to pull another job. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous after this. We're red hot now, especially Jackie. Why especially me? You know why, Jackie. You killed that watchman. Oh, yeah. Boston Black, he sent you up. He'll be out looking for That you. means we're all going to have trouble with him. I don't like it. I know how to keep Blackie from grabbing me. How? Well, it's something I studied up on, just in case you guys get scared of Blackie. You study up on everything, don't you? Yeah, when I ain't saying... And I really got the problem of Blackie studied up so you guys can quiet down. Your visitor's in booth five, Joe. And there's no time limit. No time limit, huh, God? This must be my birthday. Wait till you see your present. Booth five. Thanks. You the visitor I got? Yes, Joe. I'm Boston Blackie. Sit down. Boston Blackie? I guess I will sit down. Uh, I ain't done nothing, Blackie. Not in here. But you've been talking to someone, Joe. And I thought you might give me some information. Hey, you uh, got the wrong boy, Blackie. I'm no rat. You won't be ratting. Just explaining. If you can. You've talked to Jackie Mayer, haven't you? A lot of times. So what? So did he ever tell you how he and the rest of the Bolo gang were going to arrange the break? No, Blackie. But I'll tell you a funny thing. Go ahead. Jackie bragged how him and his pals was getting out without uh, getting together first to arrange things. Hmm. Is that all? Mm-hmm. Didn't he ever say how they'd make contact without sending messages or seeing each other? No. All he said was he could get the signal while I was sitting there talking to him, and I'd never know it. Kind of funny how they did it, ain't it, Blackie? Very. But, Joe, they're hiding somewhere in this city now, ready to kill for getaway money. And that's no laughing matter. Harry, I think I know how it was done. Hmm? How, um, what was done? How Jackie Mayer and his friends set the time and place for that prison break and got word from the outside as to where the guns would be hidden. Oh. Oh, then your trip to prison was successful, hmm? Mm-hmm. After I saw Warden Mills in Faraday's office, I went up there and talked to a prisoner who was a friend of Jackie's. Mm-hmm. He told me that Jackie had bragged that he could get the signal without anybody knowing it. Well, uh, how, Blackie? Well, I may be wrong, but I have an idea, and it could have worked. I think that... uh, I think that's your telephone. <laughs> I hope I'm as right as you are. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Blackie. Yes? You want to grab Jackie Mayer and the Bolo gang, Blackie? Who's this? Just a guy. A guy who doesn't like Jackie Mayer and the Bolos. You know, they did that killing and safe-cracking job last night. Did they? Yeah. And the guy that killed, he was a pal of mine. Keep talking. I've got to keep out of this, but I'll tell you where you can grab Jackie and the rest of the outfit. All right, where? They're hiding out in the basement of an old house in 10th Street. 2042 10th Street. 2042. 
Get him for me, will you, Blackie? Well, uh... So long. Hello? Hello? Who was that, Blackie? Someone with a tip on Jackie Mayer. Might be legitimate. It might be phony. Well, in either case, you ought to let Inspector Faraday know. <laughs> no, no. Not if the tip was phony. He'd never let me live it down. Oh. I'm going there alone. Oh, then I'm going with you. Nothing doing, nothing doing. You stay right here and listen, Mary. To what? To this. The Bolo gang used a trick to let each other know when and how to break jail. Yeah, what do you that mean? That same trick might get me out of a jam sometime. Now, sit down. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you all about it. You see, I think... Figured... Fly, 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 what a guy. Jackie, get yeah, back in the I'm basement a... door. Then quit singing. I gotta watch for Blackie. We wanna be ready when he walks in, don't we, Pete? We'll be ready. But do what Pete says and quit singing. We don't have to be serenaded. Serenaded, Bolo? Hey, what's that? Something I ought to read up on, huh? Ah, uh, you and your reading up on. Oh, yeah? I don't think Blackie's gonna fall for this gang. He was plenty interested when Sock talked to him on the phone. He didn't know it was you, Sock? Yeah. Look, I still say... What if he comes with cops? I steadied up on that. We can get out the back way. But he ain't gonna come with cops. He likes to work alone. Especially when he gets a tip he ain't sure of. Hey, somebody's coming. What? Is it Blackie? Yeah, yeah, it's him, all right. Get set, knock him out good. <laughs> now. Hey, what's going on? Oh! That got him good. What a flop, flop, flop. Now what do we do, Polo? Kill this guy? I don't know. This is Jackie's idea. Well, Jackie? Uh, I'm going to think. Maybe we kill him. Something i got to study up on for a while. Now, back to Boston Blackie. Convict Jackie Mayer and three of his pals plan and carry out an ingenious prison break. Though while in jail, they were not once allowed to communicate with each other in any way. Later, they rob a safe for getaway money and kill a night watchman. Boston Blackie on the trail of the gang is trapped. As we return to our story, Jackie and his friends are standing over Blackie, who is bound and unconscious. Jackie, if we're going to kill him, why do we tie him up? Because we're not going to kill him. Not yet, anyhow. The cops will know I did it, Pete. They know I got it in for Blackie. Now, what are we going to do with him? Well... Leave him here like this and he'll get away. You know him and how he gets out of ropes. I got a plan. Uh, I know. Something you read up on? Something better than that. All we got to do to be safe on a job tonight is to get Blackie where he can't get to a phone, talk to anybody, signal anybody or anything. How can we do that? Easy, easy. Now, Pete, you're going to take Blackie out to the country. You know the shack I got out there? Yeah? We'll set him in the middle of it. What's the idea? To get him out where he can't play no tricks. What? Now, yeah, yeah. Now, Pete, you and Sark will keep guns on him and your eyes on him, too. One move of his hands and bingo. Let him have it, see? Keep him tied and he won't move his hands. Ropes don't mean a thing to Blackie. Just get him out to the shack and don't take your eyes off. Uh, how long do we keep him out there? Till midnight tonight when the rest of us pull a job in that factory on 18th Street. It's 150 grand there just waiting for us. Well, I can't wait for it. <laughs> Bet you'll wait with Sock and Blackie out in that shack until we come and get you. And remember, if Blackie makes one move... I know, Jackie. That's the end of Blackie. Yeah. He will die, 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 die. Miss Wesley, if Blackie isn't cluttering up my office, you are. With Blackie's trouble. Well, he really has troubles this time, Inspector Faraday. I followed him. He went into a basement of a house on 10th Street, and when he came out, he was tied up and being carried by three men. Only three? Blackie's slipping. Oh, no, Inspector, believe me, he is in trouble. Well, it's his own fault. He should have known better than to... to, to... What? Oh, where did they take him, Miss Wesley? They took him out into the country and marched him into a shack. Marched him? Yes. I thought you said he was tied up. Well, he was, but they untied him. I saw it all. I, I followed Blackie when he left his apartment after he got a phone call. Blackie told me to do it. Can you find that shack again? Uh-huh. Good. I'll go out there with 20 men and get those guys. Only... Only what? Oh, I think I want Blackie killed. Well, no. We'd get the men who have Blackie, but they'd get him first. Well, then, then what can you do? I'm thinking... Oh, Blackie was afraid of that. What does that Look, mean? Look, Inspector, I know how we can get Blackie out of the shack. Yeah, sure, so do I. But not alive. Well, I do, though. By using the same trick those convicts use to contact each other before the prison break. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sure glad Jackie isn't here, aren't you, Sock? Yeah. He'd be singing Let Me Fly, Fly, Fly till I almost died. <laughs> that song makes me sick. How do you feel, Blackie? You know something, Pete? Uh, sitting out here in the shack isn't exactly making me healthy. No, Blackie? No. With all this country air and everything? Well, you ought to be glad. Hey, don't move or we'll tie you up again. I have to move a little. I've got a cramp. You're lucky you feel anything. One move and Sock will give you a bullet in the back. And I'll give you one in the head. You guys are real generous. Why didn't you kill me after you knocked me down? Jackie didn't want you killed. Just out of the way till we pull a job and get enough dough to disappear. If you turned up dead, the cops would know Jackie did it. Smart boy, then, Jackie. You two characters are the ones that helped him and the other guys break jail, huh? Sure. But it was Jackie's idea. An idea nobody can figure out. Jackie's not dumb. He sure got you in a spot, hasn't he? Well, it's not such a bad spot. No? It is a beautiful night. Just look out the window. Clear sky. See a plane up there? All right, I went up falling for that one. We don't take our eyes off you for anything. Neither sock nor me. Nah. Not for anything? For nothing. Not even to have a look at that lovely sky or that plane? That's right. I guess you're about through. Ain't that right, Blackie? No, I wouldn't say that. No. No, as a matter of fact, I don't think that I'd say that at all. In fact, I don't think you're even close to being right. Miss Wesley. Miss Wesley. Over here, Inspector Faraday. I'm over here. Stop the car. Hello, Miss Wesley. Well, I got here. Where's the shack where they're holding Blackie? Just through those trees there, Inspector Faraday. Come on. You sure we won't be seen as we walk to the shack? Trees aren't too thick, Miss Wesley. We're not walking to the shack yet. Those two men guarding Blackie have their eyes glued on him. I saw them when I peeked in the window. Uh, they don't look around at all. They wouldn't see it. But we still don't go in. Well, I still think this is a crazy scheme. With two guys watching every move Blackie makes, how's he going to get away? You'll find out. And so will those two men, I hope. Uh, I hope you get your hope. Well, we'd better. I've heard of some crazy things since I first met you and Blackie. But believe me, this is the craziest. Let me fly, 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 all right, die, die, die. Jackie, what do you think Pete and Sock are doing out in that shack? I know what they ought to be doing, keeping their eyes on Blackie. Yeah. Hey, what time is it? Eight o'clock. Well, four hours to go, and then we knock off that payroll job. What about Blackie? Oh, him, Polo? Yeah, him. Well, he gets just what that payroll gets. Knocked off. It's awful warm in here, Pete. Not for us guys who ain't got guns covering them, Blackie. <laughs> I bet you wish we hadn't taken your gun, huh? Right, Sock? Yeah. Well, look, uh, you'd like to move around a little, wouldn't you? We've been sitting here for hours. So what? So let's walk around a little, maybe over to the window. Not a chance. Aren't you guys even a little bit warm? Warm? <laughs> We're hot, Blackie. Red hot. And you know it. Yeah. I don't see no harm in opening the window, though. Open it, Sock. Okay. Where you going, Blackie? Hey, no, we're just over the window. You get on one side of him, Sock. I'll stay on the other. Okay? Oh, golly, it's good to move around a little, isn't it, Pete? Yeah, it sure is. But if you let Jackie know we let you walk around, it won't be so good for any of us. I won't tell him. Just wanted a breath of the country air that you were telling me about. So breathe, boy, you still can. Thanks. You're welcome. You don't mind my resting my arm on the windowsill, do you? Rest? Who cares? What are you looking at your feet for? My shoelace is untied. Okay, if I bend down and fix it? Don't be silly. Sock, that a guy's shoelace. Right? I'll keep my gun on him. Thanks for the valet service, Sock. Yeah, and yeah. And speaking of Sock, Pete, you're going to get socked on the head with this gun. Uh, hey, why'd you get that gun, you? Uh, well, here's one for you. Uh. Surprise, boys. Well, the next surprise belongs to Jackie Mayer. Singing, Jackie, you're humming. Can't you keep quiet when I'm opening a safe? I told you, I studied up on it. Music's good for the nerves. Well, then, what I got, it ain't good for, and I got a safe to open. Well, when you gonna get it open? I don't know, but maybe I got it. Now. Hey, it's open. No kidding. 
Yes, she is. Wide open as a busted gate. Well, bust out those packs of money and let's bust out of here. Yeah, you take this half, I'll take the other. Well, maybe we'll take it all, huh? Right. Who's there? It's Blackie, Jackie, and that's not baby talk. Come on, Barney, let's take it. Come on, Barney. You're going to sleep, Jackie. Oh. No, don't, don't shoot anybody. I quit. I quit. Just like the boys waiting for you out in the car, eh, Bolo? They quit, too. Get up on your feet, you. I'm getting up, Inspector. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. All right. They will uh, have to wait for Jackie. Hold still. Before he gets up, he'll have to wake up. Let me fly, 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 or I'll die, die, die. <laughs> Since when have you started singing that song, Mary? Since I sat in Inspector Faraday's office and listened to Jackie Mayer's confession. Every time there was a pause, he'd start singing that song. Da, 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 da. Singing while he sang, huh? Yeah. You were right, Blackie, and I'm proud of you. Jackie and his friends did get the time and the place where the guns would be hidden for the prison break from an airplane motor. Their confession said so. I know. All that was needed was for the gang to know the Morse code. The men on the outside hired a pilot to gun his motor in Morse code to give the instructions to the Bolo gang in prison. And the prison authorities hearing a motor going on and off would think that a pilot was stunting if they thought about it at all. That's right. That's why I had you use the same device to tell me where you'd hidden the gun for me. Mm-hmm. I hired a pilot. I told him to spell out gun outside windowsill in Morse code, mm-hmm. using a, a long motor burst for a dash and a short one for dots. Well, that is, after I planted the gun outside on the windowsill for you to grab. I grabbed it all right, <laughs> and Faraday grabbed the gang. We were kind of lucky, though, Mary. Mm-hmm. But in uh, what way particular? Well, Pete and Sock were the two men from the outside who helped Jackie Mayer and his friends get out of jail, supplied the guns and all that. Mm-hmm. They fortunately didn't know Morse code. Hmm, that is lucky. If Jackie, for instance, had guarded you, he'd have heard the plane that was signaling you. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell me something, Blackie. Mm-hmm. After you took care of uh, Pete and Sock, and Inspector Faraday and I came over to the shack, how'd you know where to take the inspector to find the rest of the gang? Well, after I was tied up, Mary, I came too. But I didn't let Jackie know that. I heard him say where the next job was to be pulled and when. So I knew where to bring Faraday. Easy? Mm, very easy. But it wouldn't have done you any good to know all that you... Uh, hadn't been able to get out of that shack. That's right. Jackie's plan was pretty good, but thanks to you, a gun and an airplane, I blew that plan sky high. (laughs) 